Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to Silver Dollar Saga, or as I like to call it, OTC Fish Keeper. Uh, this week, I, uh, I'm bringing you the next stage in the Silver Dollar's development or lack of development. For a quick recap, for those of you who don't remember, the Silver Dollars had their fins nipped all the way down to nothing on their dorsal fin, their tail fin especially, their, their pectoral fins, pretty much everything that could be reached was reached. So I took one out of the tank to see if it healed, to see if they were doing it to each other, or to see if somebody in the, the angelfish tank was doing it. And the one I took out healed up, his fins all grew back, and the other one didn't, so I assumed somebody in the angelfish tank was doing it. So I took the other one out and put them back together. Well now, the first one whose fins were healing are getting eaten again. So that means that there's multiple culprits. Somebody in the angelfish tank is nipping fins and the silver dollar fish are clearly nipping each other's fins because they're the only two in the tank now. So uh, in order at least to heal that part, I'm gonna take, take one out, put it in another tank I've got set up here and give them a chance to heal up and then, I don't know, I might try a large school or maybe I'll find somebody with a large school and just donate these two guys to it so that maybe they can swim together and hopefully not eat their own fins. So uh, let me give you a peek here at what those fins look like uh, all chewed up here. Okay, got both of the uh, silver dollars here. And you take a look at the big guy. He's the one I left in the angelfish tank. See, there's still virtually no uh, tail fin on him. The uh, black bar kind of grew back a little bit, but then that was it. And a dorsal fin is still pretty sad looking. But if you take a look at the little guy here, his tail had grown back and his dorsal fin. And, you know, most of it's still there, but if you take a look at his tail fin, there have clearly been several bites taken out of that thing. Because it was in perfect shape. I won't focus in that close. It was in perfect shape, and now there's clearly bites taken out of it. Same with his dorsal fin, has also got some bites. His dorsal fin was completely gone, so it grew back nice. But uh, there's some bites taken out of it now, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch these guys out and put one of them in, uh, in this extra tank I got right here. Okay, I'm gonna catch one of these guys right here. I think I prefer the uh, bigger one with the poor fins and put him in the new tank, and then uh, that way hopefully both their green fins grow back. I know from experience that these are not easy fish to catch. And of course he swims right into the net for me. <laughs> well that was really nice and smooth and I like the fact that there was very little stress. We were in, we were out, and we were done. So that was cool. Okay, we got the, uh, the big guy in his new home. One of my quarantine tanks here. So now, over the next few weeks, we'll have to watch and see if his fins grow back now that he's got absolutely nobody in there to eat fins for him. And also, this guy is back alone again. So we can keep an eye on his fins and see if they come out a little better. And uh, see if those bite marks heal up on his tail. I'm not sure if those will heal up or simply grow out a little more. But either way, the saga continues. Well, that wraps it up today for the, uh, the uh, silver, silver dollar mayhem. And uh, everybody be sure to hit subscribe button if you haven't already. Thanks for coming along and uh, I'll close you out in front of my new favorite tank. I'm loving these new Oscars and this, uh, this green terror. My gosh, these guys are great. This tank looks awesome. Everybody's getting along great. So I'll see you next time. Have fun.